Welcome everyone, I would like to show you the best screen recorder for your Android 10 device in 2020. So if I show you in settings, and if I go to about, you can see I'm running Android 10. This will also work on Android 9, Android 8, and also Android 7. I cannot guarantee any older versions of Android will support this screen recorder. No root is required, and we've already covered this supports the latest Android version, so let's get started. Open the Play Store, and I'll have a direct download link to AZ Screen Recorder. This is my favorite screen recorder for Android, and I'd like to share it with you. This is completely free, by the way, and there's no watermark, none of that bull crap. So we're just going to tap on Open, and you can see, for me, I have this icon. For you, you will need to set up the application. When you use this app for the first time, it will essentially ask you for permission to save the photos, permission to use notifications, and permission to have this overlay. If you decline any of those permissions, you will not be able to use the screen recorder. But before we start recording, we're going to tap on the icon, and we're going to open settings. Now you need to follow me. You see a video configuration, you must change this to 1080p. It will be defaulted to 720p, and let me tell you, 720p is not a good resolution for video in 2020. You want to be using 1080p. This is the standard for most gaming videos. And if you're doing gaming, I'd recommend you use this. But also, most devices will not be able to see past 1080p. If you want, you can choose 1440p, but I do not recommend it. Now we have it, frame rate. If you're playing any game, set this to 60 FPS. Otherwise, if you're just doing a normal tutorial and you just want to screen record your device, I'd recommend you set this to 30 FPS. Now we're going to scroll down and you see it, audio configuration. I'd make sure you enable record audio. It's quite straightforward. If you want it off, you turn it off. And you see it, audio source. If you enable the microphone option, essentially it will record your screen and also what all the microphones pick up. This means the following. You'll be able to record your voice first of all, and second of all, you'll also be able to record your game as long as it's coming out from the loud speaker. This means you will not be able to use your headphones while doing the screen recording. This also means the audio will not be as good as if you use internal audio. This also means that if you keep on like tapping the side, that will be picked up, and the audio experience for some watching your video will not be very good. However, internal audio will capture the game's audio directly without using external microphones. This could mean that you can plug in the headset, you can do all that good stuff. The problem is your actual mic audio will not be recorded if you select internal audio. If you're talking in any game, you must select microphone audio. Honestly, if you aren't talking, it is also a decent option. If you select internal audio, it does say that not all games and applications do support this currently. And if that's the case, you will not have any game sounds. To be safe, I'd recommend you use microphone or you test out internal audio to see if it works. So how do we start the screen recording? Well, we tap on this record icon, we tap on the record, and we tap on start now. We have a timer right here, and once it goes to zero, the screen recording will start. What I love is there's actually nothing on the display. You have the full screen recording, just like you'd be using a normal Android device. Essentially, we can open up any game, any application, and you will also notice that at the left, I have implanted the screen recording using my video editor, just to show you how the screen recording actually looks. So we're going to open up the game, and I'm thinking Solitaire. Say what you want, but I just want to play Solitaire. I mean, I'm also playing on the easy setting, so we shouldn't lose. And by tapping all these icons, you can see currently there'll be no audio, but what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that silent mode is disabled and if we tap on the screen you'll be able to hear that the screen recorder has also captured the audio now this is the screen recording only i'm not using the audio from my camera i'm just using the screen recording footage and the audio it recorded you can hear that overall it's decent the game sounds are perfectly fine actually let's play the game normally we have a two. Yep, we've got that one. And uh, we can't use queen. Oh man. This is. No one's gonna notice. Uh, let's have a look. Three. Nope. Queen. Nope. Six. Nope. Seven. Yep. We can.
Okay, undo that. Hey, that's kind of cool. So you can see overall the screen recording is doing an insanely good job. AZ screen recorder is extremely great. How do we stop the screen recording though? Well, we swipe down for the notification center and we want to find the screen record icon AZ right here and we tap on the stop button. And what we're going to do is it says the screen was rotated while recording. Record this video might look smaller than expected. We're going to tap on OK, I understand. I'm going to tap on play and this will show you a preview of the video. But the important part is it will also be saved to your gallery. So this is a screen recording I made beforehand. This is the latest screen recording and you can see it right here. We recorded using auto rotation. That means it's going to be recording in portrait. So if we move to landscape, the video is going to look extremely small. How do we change this? You can see right here. And if we go to landscape, it will also look small. So to fix this, we're going to tap on the icon. We're going to tap on settings and you see orientation. If you're playing a video game, then you want to change this to landscape. If you're doing a tutorial, I'd recommend you choose this to portrait. Auto works perfectly fine. What you do need to keep in mind, if you record initially in portrait mode and switch to landscape mode, then you're going to have that really small picture, which you're going to have to edit out yourself you could see that earlier when i was showing the gameplay footage it was perfectly fine on screen that's because i'm going to be editing with a computer but finally let's say you don't want to use your screen recorder what we can do is you hold this and then you drag it to the x and now the screen recorder icon is gone to enable it again you tap on az screen recorder and you can see the icons here to remove it you just drag it to the x there you go that's my favorite screen recorder for your android device AZ Screen Recorder. Let me know if you like this in the comment section down below. Peace out.